Hi everyone, this is Paolo from the MB Academy and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to create bases like the ones in the track Warthog by Simula. So this is the original track. And the base that I'm gonna be showing you is this one. But before we get started with the video, there's actually more than 50% people subscribed to the channel now. So thanks a lot for the support, guys. If you're watching this and you find this useful, make sure you get subscribed so we are able to bring you more free content in the future. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized serum and the first thing we need to do is to turn on the sub and load a sine wave in oscillator A. We should be playing a low D sharp, like this. And then we're gonna add a lot of distortion. like this. Now we can go back into the main tab and boost the octave of oscillator A, but instead of leaving it here, we're gonna bring oscillator A two semitones down, so it kinda adds that reasoning effect. If I bring it lower, you can notice that effect. We're gonna bring the random phase all the way down and the phase position to the initial point of the sine wave, just to get a consistent sound. And then we're gonna use LFO number one on the level of oscillator A to mix this with the soft and the distortion. So check this out. So we kinda want this movement. So let's bring the LFO rate down. And now let's fine tune this point here. Let's add this curve. Cool, so now we kind of have the main movement of this bass. Next, we need to add more harmonics into this. So for that, we're gonna use oscillator B, and once again, we're gonna load a sine wave. But this sine wave, we're gonna boost it again to three octaves up. So now let's bring the level of oscillator B all the way down and boost the level. So as you can see, layering this adds that grid into the sound. And we can experiment with whatever we do here. I'm just letting you know what you can do to experiment with the sound. So for the post processing of this sound, we're just gonna add an EQ. And we're gonna boost the second harmonic just to add more fullness into the sound, and then we're gonna add some trash too. And what we're gonna do in trash two is to use a multiband mode, and we're gonna distort above 200 hertz, and below 500. We want to distort the main harmonic of the sound, which is this one. And so let's load a mode here. That sounds really cool. You can experiment with the different modes that you have here on Trash. This capacity one sounded really cool. In this case, we're gonna use the crunchy one. Cool. And next we're gonna add some reverb. Now don't worry about affecting the sub of this bass with the reverb. This is just to illustrate the process of creating the top layer. If you're doing this in the context of a track, you may wanna add an EQ and low cut the sub and then add your separate sub in there. Now this is it for the sound, but now to experiment, you can go back into Serum change the tuning of oscillator B. Even try to change the waveforms, for example, you can add bending. You can go back into trash and change the distortion. So that is it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you wanna get access to this preset and the project file, 
you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.